Well, the DA is set to oppose a nomination of Mkwebana for the public protector. The DA says that it believes that her appointment will be irrational. The party says she is not the best nominee and was illogically preferred over a qualifying candidate. They say that she has little practical experience to justify such an appointment compared with the experience of the other four candidates. We've also been advised confidentially that uh, the time spent in China as an immigration officer is a little bit suspicious uh, and generally speaking means that you're on the payroll of state security. Uh, additionally, Ms. Nkubwane could not confirm that she had acquired the combination of experience for a cumulative period of 10 years as is required by the Constitution. Other issues that gave rise to our concerns and making us unwilling to support her nomination are that both Judge Wiener and uh, Professor Majola were stronger candidates in terms of both experience and the quality of the interviews. Professor Majola, as a candidate, brings the bonus of his involvement in the Special Tribunal in Rwanda. She has a little or no practical experience to justify such an appointment when compared with the experience of the other four candidates. Uh, she, were, she left a, a very senior position at Home Affairs immediately prior to this process taking place for a relatively low-level job as an analyst at uh, the uh, State Security. Um, when asked about this, she said that she had taken what is ostensibly a demotion and she didn't deny that it was a demotion. Uh, she replied that she was passionate about the Constitution. So this is a very noble value to hold, but it certainly on its own doesn't make her eligible for the position. The DA have decided to oppose the nomination of Buswise Mkoebane on the basis that they believe that she does not have enough experience. They say that she is not qualified for the job. And they also say that they have verified from a variety of sources that they do believe that she was a spy for the state security agency in China for an extended period of time. Now, they say this would conflict and be the antithesis of the portfolio of a public protector. They say that they uh, raised issues about the various nominees, but they said that their preferred candidate was Judge Sharice um, and not Nkwebane. Oh, meanwhile, the ANC has come out all guns blazing in support of the appointment of advocate Busisiwe Joyce Mkwebane. They say she's a fit and proper person as prescribed by the law, a brilliant legal mind and a highly experienced manager. They claim that the DA's opposition has more to do with a narrow political preference than advocate Mkwebane's qualification. This was a very open and transparent process that was witnessed by all South Africans. Uh, um, and uh, uh, the views of the South Africans on social media and other platforms was that uh, this is a capable candidate. She performed excellently during the interviews. And her credentials uh, are very remarkable uh, for the position of uh, the public protector. And uh, that's what we will be... Uh, that's the reason why we will be supporting her. The views of the DA, um, it is clear that they didn't go with an open mind. They went with a premeditated um, uh, political preference for one uh, candidate or the other uh, to say that uh, just because, just merely because uh, their preferred candidate uh, did not make it.